Smart Learning Suite Online gives you access to Smart's classroom tools in a web browser. Upload your notebook lessons to the lesson library and you can open and deliver them from any device. When you deliver a lesson, students can access it on their devices by joining your class at hellosmart.com. Smart Learning Suite Online is part of the Smart Learning Suite software bundle. If you use any of Smart's tools in your classroom, such as Smart Notebook or Smart Response, you may already have a Smart account and a subscription to Smart Learning Suite. In that case, choose Sign In and enter your account information. If you haven't subscribed to Smart Learning Suite, you can still get a free trial. Just choose Sign Up for Free and set up a Smart account. Use a Google or Microsoft email address, ideally the professional email you use at your school. After you sign in, you can start adding lessons to your library. Add lessons by dragging them right into the library or by clicking the plus sign. After your lessons are uploaded, you can access them from any device. Just open a web browser and sign into your lesson library at suite.smarttech.com. After you've added some lessons to your library, click a lesson to start delivering it. Use the arrows to turn the pages. As you present the lesson, you can interact with the page. Use the cursor to move and manipulate objects. Use the pen tool to write or draw. And use the eraser to erase your ink. We've also added a couple of tools just for online delivery. You can add a blank page while you're delivering a lesson. This is useful if you want to write down an idea or you need some blank space to illustrate a concept. You could use this blank page to show a snowflake six-sided structure. If you want to start a class discussion or gather ideas, you can launch a brainstorming session on the spot. You might ask students to guess which factors can influence the way snowflakes form. After students have signed in through the class lobby, they can add to the brainstorming page by submitting responses from their devices. Let's look at how students interact with the lesson. Here's a collaborative activity. If I click Start before students have signed in to my class, the lesson player automatically opens my class list and sign-in information. Students join the class by navigating to hellosmart.com on their devices and entering the class code. We'll add a student screen beside mine so you can see how my interactions affect the class. As soon as students log in, they show up here on my class list. There's one, and it looks like a few more students are joining. Now that my students have joined, I can divide them into teams and start the quiz so they can begin to play. If I turn the page, the activity ends automatically. Students are returned to the lesson, which they can explore independently. The rank order activity that I have open doesn't have to be played collaboratively. Anyone could start it without having to wait for others to join. I might start demonstrating the activity while my student is on another page. Or while I'm playing a video on how snow forms, my student might skip ahead to this activity and try to put the steps for snow formation in order. So there's some flexibility here for students to explore the lesson at their own pace. We've added this flexibility to help students own the learning experience. But you still have the ability to keep them on track with tasks. Remember, if you start a collaborative activity, whether it's a game, a brainstorming session, or an assessment, students are pulled in automatically. So now you know how the teacher and student lesson players interact. When you're done presenting a lesson, click the library icon to return to the lesson library. Closing the lesson moves your students back into the class lobby. There are a number of other features to explore in the lesson library. You can create content from within the library using some of the same tools that you'll find in Smart Notebook. 
design an activity or assessment, and save it in the library with your lessons. Just choose what you want to build and the wizard will walk you through setting it up. I'll close this for now so we can explore the rest of the library. Over here you can sort the lessons by date or name. And you can also switch the view to list or tile. As the library fills up, use the search tool to find files quickly without having to scroll. To delete a file, select it, click the garbage can, and then select Delete to confirm. If you want to change the class name that appears at the top of the screen, or add a banner, that's over here. And up here, you can click the profile icon to sign out. You can also download Smart Notebook or Smart Amp, both of which are included in your Smart Learning Suite subscription. Plus, you can visit the online help, where you'll find detailed instructions on using the lesson library and delivering lessons. You can check out the Quick Start Guide for a simpler overview, or request a new feature. And that's Smart Learning Suite Online in a nutshell as of January 2018. This is a platform that expands possibilities in your classroom by making it easy for you and your students to access and interact with lessons. We've designed it to integrate with the tools that you already use regularly in your classroom, like Smart Notebook Lessons and Smart Lab Activities. But we're just getting started. We'll be adding new features and updating the platform regularly. To find out what's new, Go to the Smart Learning Suite Online Help page, where we post new features and updates by month. You can even be part of the design process. If you've got a great idea or there's a tool that you rely on in your classroom that you'd like to see in here, send us a feature request. On the feature request page, you can see what we're planning to add next. You can submit your ideas and you can vote on the ideas that other people have suggested. So give Smart Learning Suite Online a try and let us know what you think. We'll be back soon with another demo from SmartHQ.